And dear students, I am Dr. Y. P. Agarwal, Professor Ramitas, Kurukshetra University. This module is about Spearman's Rank Defense Correlation or RH or HO. The objectives of the module are the following ranks and their assignment. We will understand the rationale of rank difference correlation. We will understand the calculation of the rank difference correlation. We will understand the uses and limitations of rank difference correlation. Now, this is a Spearman's rank difference correlation, and we are going to discuss this topic today. In case when distributions of scores are markedly skewed, measurements made with an interval or ratio scale can be transformed to ranks before the correlation is computed. Sometimes only ordinal scale data in the form of ranks is available and the calculation of product moment R is not possible. In such situations, Spearman's rank coefficient rho can be calculated. It is also useful when n is very small. The assumption of normal distribution of the characteristic in the population is not required. The procedure of calculation of rho is shown in table 1. This table is about the rank defense coefficient of correlation where there are no ties. The table has seven columns. First column shows the serial number of students. Second column shows the scores of students on test 1. In third column, we have the scores on test 2. And then in the fourth column, ranks have been allotted to the students on test 1. And in column 5, ranks have been allotted to students on test 2. These ranks go from 1 to 5. The highest scores get a rank of 1 and the lowest score gets a rank of 5. Now in column 6, difference between ranks has been calculated and this is given as D. Now each of the difference has been squared and summed and this column is D square and, and we have got sum of D square that is equal to 38. The formula for calculating rho is 1 minus 6 sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1. By substituting the values from the table, we find it is 1 minus 6 times 38 upon 5 times 5 square minus 1. Further calculations show it is 1 minus 228 upon 120. Further, it is 1 minus 1.9 and this gives me a minus 0. 0.9. The interpretation of this value is the relationship between x and y is very high and inverse that is negative. Now, we are going to take another look at the procedures of calculation of rho when no ties exist. And we are taking table 1. In table 1, students have been listed in column 1. Scores on test and 2 in columns 2 and 3. There are no ties in the scores. A ranking is simple. It can be accomplished by assigning a rank of 1 to the highest, a rank of 2 to the next highest, and so on, till the lowest score gets a rank of equal to n. Take one set of scores at a time and finish the ranking. Then take up the second set in table 1. Student C gets the highest x score of 9 and hence obtain a rank of 1. C column 4. Student A with the next highest x score of 8 gets the next rank of 2. Student B a rank of 3. Student D a rank of 4. And student E with the lowest score gets the last rank of 5 which is equal to n. The same procedure is repeated for ranking the students on test 2. 
and the ranks written in column 5. In column 6, difference of ranks for each student are mentioned. For example, for student A, D is equal to R1 minus R2 or 2 minus 5, that is minus 3. Column 7 shows each rank difference squared. Column 7 is summed up to obtain sigma d square, which is 38 in our example. The number of students in this example is 5, hence n is equal to 5. The numerical value of 1 and 6 in the formula are constants and remain the same in all cases. The values of sigma d square and n are inserted in the formula and the values of rho obtained. Necessary precaution should be taken regarding the sign of the value of rho when it is negative, lest it may be omitted inadvertently in our example. Rho is equal to 0 0.9, a value which is quite high and shows an inverse relationship between x and y. We are going to take up another aspect where we find the their tied ranks. This is in section 1.2. Sometimes two or more persons obtain the same score or have the same age, years of service, or some other numerical value. This introduces ties in the scores, which are then reflected in their ranks also. The procedure of assigning ranks in such situations will be described with reference to the example solved in table 2. In table 2, column 1 shows student serial number in terms of letters. In column 2 and 3, each student's scores on test 1 and test 2 have been given. For ranking one set of scores, say x is taken at a time. Ranks assigned to scores on test 1 have been shown in column 4. Student F with the highest score of 20 has been given the rank of 1 and student E whose score is the next highest a rank of 2. In this way the ranking has been completed till student 1 I gets a rank of 10. Students A and G have similar scores of 10 each and they possess 6th and 7th positions. Instead of assigning either 6 or 7 to both of them, we average the two positions. That is 6 plus 7 divided by 2 is equal to 6.5 has been assigned to each of them. The same procedure has been followed in respect of scores on test 2. In this case, ties occur at three places. Students C and F have the same score and hence obtain the average rank of 1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5. Students A and B have rank positions of 5 and 6 and hence are assigned 5 plus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 5.5. Similarly, students G and H have been assigned 7 plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5 each. The same procedure is to be adopted when more than two persons tie up for the same position. Now, I am going to show you a formula and also do the calculations for obtaining the value of rho. Rho is equal to 1 minus 6 times sigma d square upon n times n square minus 1. Now, substituting the values from the table, we obtain 1 minus 6 times 24 upon 10 times 10 square minus 1 and further calculations show it's 1 minus 144 upon 990. Further we go we find it's 990 minus 144 upon 990 and the final value of rho we obtain is 0 0.855 which is a positive value. The interpretation of this value is the correlation between x and y is very high and positive. Well, dear students, we have this section 1.3 and this section gives you some additional 
solved examples to become in your understanding of the concept. In this section, a few more fully solved examples are given for a better understanding of the technique. The student should do some further practice on computing row. Now, solved example one. These figures represent the marks of 12 students on two tests. And we are supposed to calculate the value of rank correlation and interpret the results. Let us take a look at this table. And it shows the marks of 12 students on test 1 and test 2. And we have allotted ranks to students on test 1 and test 2. And then we took out the rank differences we call D. And we then calculated the squares of D which we call D square. The value of sigma D square is equal to 188. And we now going to substitute these values in the formula of rank difference coefficient of correlation. 1 minus 6 times sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1. Substituting the values, we find 1 minus 6 times 188 upon 12 into 144 minus 1. And we then further do the calculations. We arrive at a value of r which is 0.34 which is a positive value and not an inverse value. Students should take a look at and be careful about the minus sign if it appears with the value of rho because it leads to a different interpretation. It is in the inverse direction. However, in this case, we have a positive value that is 0.34. This shows a low correlation between x and y, but it's a positive correlation but low correlation between x and y. Now we go over to the solved example 2. And to calculate coefficient of correlation from data given in this example, and we will try to use the Spearman's rank different method on this. In this example, we have 10 students, and they have scores in Hindi and mathematics. These have been put into a tabular form as the standard methodology is. And we have calculated ranks for all the students on test 1 and test 2. And then we have taken the rank differences and then squared the rank differences and obtained d square. And then we have obtained sigma d square which is equal to 138. After obtaining the value of sigma d square, which is 138, we are going to use the formula of calculating rank difference correlation. The formula is 1 minus 6 times sigma d square upon n into n square minus 1. And we are going to substitute this value in this formula. The value of sigma d square is equal to 138. Same time we are using the two constants 1 and 6 in the formula which are just constants and they are to be used in all calculations of rho. They have a mathematical justification for this. So, these are to be used as 1 and 6 always when you are going to calculate coefficient of correlation. So, I am substituting the value of sigma d square and I find rho is equal to 1 minus 6 times 138 upon 10 times 10 square minus 1. And the final value that I arrive at by calculating is 0.16 approximately. It is a very small value and it is no doubt is a positive value but very small value. So, the very interpretation is is very low positive correlation. And there is no inverse relationship. Now, we go over to a solved example 3. And this concerns the 14 
paired scores of 8th graders upon tests of intelligence and test of arithmetic achievement. That's why we are going to calculate R directly from these scores. In this example, we are going to show the solution of the problem. The table shows in the first column the student scores on intelligence along with the ranks. And in column two, we have students scores on Y test, that is arithmetic achievement, with their ranks. In column three, we have the differences of the ranks. In column four, we have the differences squared and summed at the bottom. And in this way, we get sigma d square, which is equal to 116. We have the formula again 1 minus 6 times sigma d square upon n times n square minus 1. Now, we substitute this, the value of sigma d square 116 into the formula and we get 1 minus 6 times 116 upon 14 times 14 square minus 1. And finally, the calculations show the value that is 0.74. By solving this example, we get a value of rho which is 0.74. This is a high value and also a positive value. This shows that the two variables of intelligence and arithmetic achievement are positively related and have a high correlation. This is maybe due to the mathematics being a subject which requires a whole lot of thinking and a lot of intellectual work. This could be possibly due to that. Dear students, we have done some calculations in this module and try to find out the value of rho and we could find the inverse relationship as well as the positive relationship. And we also gave you the interpretation of the inverse relationship and positive relationship. At the same time, high value of correlation and low value of correlation. Dear students, you must understand that though it's a very easy and a very convenient method of calculating correlation, but you need not use it all the time. If you have some better methods of calculating correlation, please use those methods. This method is primarily used when you have ordinal data, that data based on ranks. And in small numbers, it may lead to some errors in the interpretation. So, rank correlation, though an easy and convenient method, must be used with a precaution. Dear students, this is another method of finding the coefficient of correlation and is known as rank correlation. It was devised by Spearman, hence it is named after him. This method also gives an approximate value and is not capable of giving a definite result. Normally, the rank correlation is denoted by RHO, that's rho. This method is frequently used in education and psychology and sociology. The ranks are ascertained on the basis of the size of the items and then the rank differences are known. Rank differences are then squared. The value of sigma d square is ascertained. Finally, the rank correlation is calculated by applying the formula as shown below. Rank difference correlation rho is equal to 1 minus 6 times sigma d square upon n times n square minus 1. When the ranks are treated as scores, and there are no ties, the value of the product moment coefficient of correlation equals the value of rho. In case of tied positions, a correction may be used to make rho equal to r. However, in case of a smaller number of ties, the correction can be ignored 
and Rho accepted as an approximation of R. Rank difference correlation is a quick and convenient method of estimating the correlation when n is small. In case only ranks are available, rho is the only answer. With larger n's, rho may be useful as an exploratory measure. However, it must be amply evident to the student that r is based on both sizes of the measures and also their relative positions in the series where rho takes account of the positions only. Thank you.